Hello everyone, today I would like to show you how to use interactive brokers platform in the best way you can do it. As you can see in the screen that this is my day trading setup. I am very happy, happy about it and today we will create all of this together. So let's start with those little plus sign. Uh, it asks from us a name. Let's say YouTube and click create and you will see there is a whole bunch of a uh, blank screen and uh, we will go and start from here as you can see there is a lot of choices that we can choose uh, first we will go with the let's go with the watch list and uh, let's take this to the middle okay and after that I would like to put a chart and okay let's make it a little bit smaller let's take it here okay and of course we need a order entry screen this is where you will enter your orders in interactive brokers. Uh, let's continue with the orders that we have entered. Order management. So we can see our all of our orders. And if you click here, you will see that there is also the trades you have made today and the summary of your trades so let's continue uh, I would like to put a news on the right side let's see where is it uh, pop, pop, pop. okay let's do it this way and I would like to put it also here and uh, we need a thumbnail charts I use it for the see the features and just we just need two of those okay just it like that and one for SMP 500 one for the Nasdaq and uh, okay this is called thumbnail chart you can set a lot of things but it does the job and uh, okay let's continue okay and I would like to see my of course portfolio mm -hmm. okay, and we will put it uh, in left side you see it is very easy to adjust your settings and uh, okay and what else we need uh, and I want another chart on the right side Okay, let's take those to the bottom. Okay, so this kind of what I have been using for my day trade setup. So uh, the most important thing here is that you see the chain symbol in all of the windows it means that it's all linked together so uh, let's add our watch lists from the predefined menu if you click the my list you can see all of your watch list easily and let's go to this one if you click add ok 
Okay, let's wait. And uh, if you would like to add something here, it's very easy. You just come here and type in. Okay, and uh, for the SMP, you see the features. You click that, and we will go with the continues. Okay, and if you click something, anything in the watch list, you will see that it's all connected, and you get everything about that. So, oops, 15 minutes, 15 minutes. Let's go for the Tesla. okay so the next thing we will do is we will unlink these windows because we don't want those to change one is nasdaq and also unlink this one is smp but of course you can change that whatever you like this is my choices after all those settings, the most important thing in the interactive brokers is you see these uh, green lines. It means that you can adjust your screen and after you finished your job, you should click this and you know, it's all saved now. You don't need to do anything. You are safe. If you want to change something, you just come here, click it and you're good to go now i would like to show you my options trading window and as you can see i put a huge option chain here and my portfolio over here and my watch list is also under my portfolio if you click here you can see that all my watch list for options trading here and it's very easy if you click that because i chained all of those windows so that I can easily change my ticker. <clears throat> the other important thing here is, I don't know if you have noticed, but these chains colors are green. And if you look here, it's all blue. If I make this also a green, if I do something here, it will also affect here. So it's important that you use a different colors in all of your windows. And so let's see what we have here and my live orders over here my order entry window and I like to see open interests but if you want you can change that easily we click here we remove that let's say I would like to put a chart and if I click that let's uh, make it small and okay it's also a green and we save the change and let's say I am interested with AMD and uh, if I would like to do a short put let's say okay and uh, um, see yes now I can easily see that where the price came from or where it goes uh, I find it useful so you see that there is a lot of options that you can use volatility trader volatility lab you can check those out also all the users have those functions and the other thing what I'm using is a quant screen. I have a huge chart here and the times and sales and also the level two I have here. Now it's coming and the watch list is over the right side. And in interactive brokers, you need to be subscribed to see whole book and it costs something like $25 per month. Uh, I'm not a fan of the order book trading, so I'm not interested. I tried and I didn't like it, so I canceled my subscription. So let's say again, no thanks. But if you uh, if you would like to see those things, this was my window. So that's it uh, for the windows. 
Now in the next chapter I will show you the presets. It's very important thing that when you go into trade it will you know save a lot of time and I will show you indicators that I'm using it and you know some secrets that uh, nobody knows or uses uh, let's catch up in the next chapter okay now in the next chapter I would like to show you order entries how we can do it and there is a little secret that I will show you the best way to enter your orders okay now let's start with the easiest way you can do it uh, you see the chart chart over here and you can see that there is a buy and sell buttons I really like this function you click buy and you hover it the price you would like to get in let's say from that and let's say I would like to get in with the 990 shares and I would like to do it GTC orders and fill outside the regular trading hours uh, it gives you uh, access after the trading hours finished you can also continue to trade it's very nice feature in the interactive brokers if you click this T button the order has been sent and if you see there a green color your order is in the market now if the price came comes here your order will be filled so if you would like to cancel that order you just click the C button order cancelled and order has been cancelled successfully so the uh, my favorite thing about the order entry in interactive brokers is the presets it is very very helpful tool you click here you go over to settings and you scroll down and you will see a presets and in the presets section there is a lot of choices that you can make the forex for the options for the stocks we will go with the stocks now and uh, you can change everything here and you can also set up a bricket order or stop order or just profit taker let's try now uh, I would like to do all my orders in the GTC good to cancel uh, which means uh, the order will be live until you cancel it but if you choose the day order it will cancel automatically in the end of the day so let's go with the GTC uh, the quantity this is a default quantity uh, when you install the interactive brokers platform you will most likely will be seeing a hundred shares of each ticker that you will be click so I don't like that I make it one shares uh, you can choose whatever you like and uh, if you scroll down you will see my order type is limit I don't use market orders because you know I find it a little bit uh, risky I would like to see my you know the field price I don't want to uh, take risks especially when the market opens uh, you can prepare a profit taker you know it will auto attach your uh, take profit order which is nice I believe and uh, you can also put a stop loss easily here and there is a bunch of other things that you can also check it out the algorithms this is something special about interactive brokers uh, I recommend you check those out and when you click apply it will automatically save and after that when you click something you know you see the quantity will come as one and it's day let's now check this again presets stocks GTC apply okay okay and that's it you see now it is GTC and also it's fill outside the regular trading hours I also always click this 
and the most common way to enter your order is of course this order entry window when you come over here you choose your site you would like to buy or sell and let's say I would like to buy and by the way in the some brokers that there is buy and sell button also there is a short and long button uh, interactive broker doesn't have that you have two choices buy or sell if you would like to short sell you will just you know click sell and you do it and you buy if you would like to go along so let's say I would like to buy some XPEV from $30 and 100 shares 101 okay and I just click submit what does it say okay blah 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 uh, it's warning me that the order size is 101 exceed the size limit of 100 you know I set those up if I make a you know some mistake so it's nice thing it's a default thing you will also receive that don't worry about it how to do it so override and transmit you see my order is live we see the green color everything is fine if I would like to cancel it just come over here and order cancel cancel the button uh, okay that's it all for the order entries now let's catch up in the next chapter the next thing I would like to show you in the platform is the hotkeys. Again, you click settings and in the hotkeys section, it is very easy to set up those hotkeys. You can see my hotkeys over here. I have set it up already and there is a bunch of other options that you can set up also. Uh, my favorite button is this shift enter button which is transmitting my order easily and fastly so also I use buy and sell buttons uh, not fun of it but sometimes it's helpful also delete button to cancel my orders now let's see uh, let's do it like that Put my order if I click shift enter that's it it sent my order and if would if I would like to cancel my order I just order click cancel. my delete button and it just canceled now so it's nice to you know set those things up to its a time saver thing I recommend you also check those out